Hello YouTube, this is Justin coming to you from Taylor South Shore Marina. We're down here at the 2017 Cincinnati Travel and Boat Show. Today I'm going to take you on a walk around of a brand new model for low boats. This is the 2017 Low Stinger 188. Low solid demand that was spiking in the 18 foot aluminum fishing market in the Mod V. And they, this is their response to it, the Stinger 188. Very wide boat. Uh, become very popular. We've had a lot of good um, response with it from people down here at the show this year. So I'm going to take you on a walk around and show you what this boat has to offer you. This boat is 18 feet 8 inches. It has a 94 inch beam on it. 19 gallon gas tank. Boat weighs just over 1200 pounds of dead weight. Uh, you'll see how big that deck is right there. It's just it's massive. They don't use any kind of cheater beam or anything that that uh, full 94 inches is, is basically rub rail to rub rail and it, it uses every inch of it in this deck so this boat right here is powered by the mercury uh new pro xs four stroke 115 the 115 horsepower is the max rating for this boat so definitely going to be a definitely going to be a quick uh quick rider i mean this boat right here should be every bit of mid to probably high 30s so we'll hop up in this guy and show you what it's got to offer you Right up here on the front deck, you'll see that this has a Minn Kota Edge 70 pound thrust, 24 volt Troy motor, it has a recessed foot pedal. Right up here in the corner, you have a tool holder section. Also right there is where your uh, Troy motor plugs in. Navigation light right there. You have plenty of room here to the side to mount any kind of fish finder you would want. One of the things Lowe has started doing with their Stanger models is they do three across seating. So you'll see the two pedestal seats up here. For uh, you crappie fishermen, anybody that likes a spider rig, you and the wife or the uh, best buddy can fish right next to each other. You have two day box here on the front. These open up. And then you have area for storage in them right there. Right here on both sides. And they're lined with the new rubber mat that they put inside there. It looks really nice. You got the new fiberglass console right here on the side, which I'll show you here in a second. Two big identical storage boxes to the port and starboard side of this boat. Less up, you got tons of room for tackle and these things are massive. And then you uh, have that rubber mat again down there as well. Keep all your stuff looking good and organized. Lockable compartment latches. Same, same com uh, compartment over here on the side, just huge. Tons of storage in there, put all your stuff. Your rod locker, right here in the middle, gas lifted. And you have eight internal tubes right there. But of the rods will come back right here on this rack. And that'll take eight footers right there. You have a step down here that also opens up with some storage in it right there. You have a strap over here for your partner's rods to lay and go out the back right there. They have uh, handles right there for them to hold on. You have storage up underneath the seats. Pop this up, you got storage underneath there. Third seat, step up, also flips up right there. Storage underneath the driver's seat. Here's a shot of the console. So you'll see that they flush mount the old Rance hook five right there on the side. You got toggle switches for all of your pumps and lights, accessories, uh, your horn, everything over there, master power switch. Mm -hmm. You got brand new gauges up here that they put the RPM and uh, the uh, trim. It's all in one gauge and you have your fuel gauge and your speedometer in the other one. This is the new little area. This is for your cell phone to just slide right in here. And then you can open this up and it has USB plugs in. Uh, this has a Jensen radio that's a Bluetooth radio system that you can play through your speaker. Uh, that you know obviously if you want to listen to your tunes while you're out there on the water courtesy light here on the side and you also have storage in the front of this push this little button right here and just turn that this comes up and then you can put things in there plano boxes like the baits of the day or whatever you want to do here on the back deck you'll have the 23 gallon live well with an insert right there for a minnow bucket it has recirculating storage compartments here to the sides lift up 
put three 3700 planos in there a lot of people use these as coolers too because they drain right down into your bilge area another seat assembly here in the back and then you can pick this up right here and then there's your battery box also your 19 gallon fuel tank right there all three batteries you can see your pumps down here right down in there obviously this will look a lot better once your batteries are in here and it's wired up just got a bunch of wires back in here right now but plenty of room for charger and everything in there if you'd like gas fill is right there on the back of the port side that's an overview of the 2017 stinger 188 brand new boat from uh, low boats here come down to south shore marina check them out and we'll put you in your new stinger we'll see you on the water